Hi guys, good morning and welcome to my happy place. I woke up and it's not frigidly cold. So I put on this dress. Yes, I made it. I have to announce when I make my clothes, I don't make the rules, that's just the rules. I came out to the greenhouse this morning to have a little quiet time, hopefully. My family always finds me when I'm trying to have my me time and interrupt my me time, but we'll see. I've got a piece of sourdough bread with some organic peanut butter on it. I'm looking at this tray, let me show you, of random stuff that I sewed that's coming up. So happy birthday, little plants. And I've got a lot of things to pot up today. But for right now, I'm just, just going to sit here and enjoy my five minutes of peace today I'm a little tired and my my head is a little loud if that makes sense and when I have a lot going on up here I just tend to be quiet and which leads to me not posting anything because I want to come on here and be the happy bubbly you know person that I like to think that I am but I'm just not that hundred percent of the time um, so instead of hiding today, I'm just going to turn the camera on and it is what it is. And I'm probably just going to work and be quiet. So if that's not your thing, I'll see you next video. But if that is your thing, then today is just going to be chill. I've got lots of things that I need to pot up and I figured I'd take you with me. Well, I had to do an outfit change because I can't crawl around on the ground in a dress, can I? At least not until summer. Uh, but right now it's like wet and yucky out here. But I'm just planting sweet peas that honestly needed to be planted a long time ago. And I hope, I mean, in the pea family, they don't typically love their roots being messed with and I'm having to rip all of these apart. So I hope that they are okay. This is usually the time of the year where I'm feeling the most energized. Um, coming out of winter, having all kinds of energy, ready for the year, ready for all my new ideas. And it is just, it's not happening this year. And I don't really know why, but I really don't like feeling this way. I mean, I'm sure nobody likes feeling this way, but just feel so down this year for some reason. Um, I don't know. I've also figured out that I love the farm and I love farming and I love all of the things. I hate selling. I hate marketing. It's so draining and it's so hard and I don't know how to do it. Maybe that's what's got me down because Okay, this is how it goes. You start a business. Actually, before you start a business, you, you have your hobby, okay? And everybody sees you doing your hobby. And they're like, oh my gosh, is that for sale? And, and you're like, no, it's not. I'm just doing it for me. And they're like, oh, if, if you ever decide to sell, let me know. I'll be the first in line. And then you start a business. And it takes a whole lot more than you think it does. And then the next year... <laughs> And it takes so much time and effort and money. And 
you get, you know, to the point of sale and like crickets are heard in the background. Like nobody's lining up at the door like you thought that they would. I mean, I knew this wasn't going to be easy by any means, but everything just feels so hard all the time. It's that time of the year where I look <laughs> dirty and tired. And it's because I'm dirty and I'm tired. But before I go in for the day, it's getting ready to rain outside. This little stand of spinach, this right here, maybe 10 feet has kept us eating, maybe not as much spinach as we want, but this has lasted all year. I planted this last September and it's April now and it's surely at the end of its life cycle, but look at this. It's huge. And I haven't picked from here in maybe a couple weeks, I think. Um, and I also didn't want to go inside and get a pan, or a, my brain didn't work. I don't want to go inside and get a bowl, so I'm just using a pot. It's a clean pot, never been used. Even if it wasn't, I'm going to go inside and wash this anyway. It's so satisfying growing your own food, and it's so incredibly ordinary to me now. It's normal. It would be very unnatural to live a life that I couldn't just go outside and like harvest dinner. Like almost, well, most days our meals that we're eating are much more than 50% from the farm in some way, shape or form. Whether we preserved it or grew it or raised it and butchered it, it's, it's pretty much... Besides like bread, so the flour and seasonings, we eat a lot from our own house. Now, I still buy organic cereal and a couple little snacky, maybe some organic granola bars and things for the kids. Because, you know, kids. But... If suddenly we couldn't go to the grocery store for some reason, we got food. And that feels pretty dang good. And that's a good closeout for this hard day. In the beginning of the season, I find that things are harder on my back <laughs> than they are towards the middle of the season. Because I've just been sedentary winter Kim, not active farmer Kim but it'll get easier. And you can see behind me, these are all um, rose bushes and lilacs. Can't wait to plant some pretty things. Um, but yeah, this video was pretty random, but it's all I got. And I figure something is better than nothing, you know? I forgot that the well driller was gonna come today, so I thought I was gonna be able to film myself all day, but that well drilling is very loud, I'm not sure if you're aware, <laughs> but I'm going to go inside now because I have to cook dinner, but I think it's just going to be an easy omelet for the day. Actually, I have some microgreens I could cut too to put in my omelet. Um, but yeah, 
Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'm going to try to film a lot more in the coming time, and it's just going to be random. I'm going to go in and make dinner for my family. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.